Unfortunately, lack of sleep is a common problem in the U.S. People of all ages report poor quality sleep or not getting enough of it. Well, Dr. Frida Lewis Hall, the chief medical officer of Pfizer, is back. We're going to look at some of the reasons why. Insomnia is the difficulty in falling asleep or staying asleep. And there are many, many causes for insomnia. Even in healthy people who don't have other problems, using caffeine or alcohol or using electronics before bed can actually play a role. How long and how soundly you sleep matters so much. Sleeping less than six hours. If you do that a lot, it may quadruple the risk of stroke and memory loss may be accelerated. Lack of sleep on a regular basis may contribute to an increased risk of colon cancer, obesity due to increase in your hunger hormones, diabetes because of increased insulin resistance, cardiac disease, and an increased risk for early cardiac death. Most of our tissue repair and our muscle growth happens when we're asleep. We have a, a body clock, if you would, that tells us when we should be awake and when we should be asleep. And this is very important. It runs on a 24-hour repetitive cycle and is important to every cell, every tissue, and every organ in our bodies. Insomnia, it may be caused by certain medical conditions. Help us look for some clues as to why some of our viewers may be losing sleep. I've had trouble falling asleep now for months. I, uh... I just toss and turn all night. My body is tired, but my mind keeps going. I'm just stressed about finances and losing my business, family problems. Sometimes I just don't know what to do. I cry. I get like sometimes two hours of sleep a night, and when I wake up, I'm exhausted the next morning. I need some help. Well, the big clue here is that she's talking a lot about stress. And about 50% of people who suffer from insomnia attribute it to stress. Insomnia can indicate an underlying illness like depression or anxiety. That's why it's really important to talk to your doctor about your insomnia, about your stressors, and any other symptom that you might be experiencing. So very true. Well, our next viewer can't stay asleep throughout the night. I'm 64 years old and I fall asleep fine, but I wake up during the night because I have to urinate. Once I wake up, it's really hard for me to get back to sleep. I don't understand, why is this happening to me? If you're having a frequent need to urinate as a male, it could be a sign of prostate problems and you should probably have your prostate examined. As we age, our prostate can become enlarged. That puts pressure on your bladder. This causes the need to urinate frequently. It can also make it difficult to begin urinating or fully emptying your bladder. This can even lead to reduced kidney function. So there are functional reasons you wake up in the middle of the night. Addressing those can help. Yes. So that was one for age-related in men. What about age-related in women? Night sweats and hot flashes can actually be a reason for uh, women waking up. So the changes in hormonal function in menopause can actually contribute to insomnia. Well, our last viewer thinks what she eats before bed may be affecting her sleep. When I go to sleep, I'm usually awakened by like a burning sensation in my chest and my throat. It feels like I've got food like stuck up here, like maybe like a bad case of heartburn. It's really uncomfortable and I cannot stay asleep. What could it be? Well, she may be suffering from heartburn, otherwise known as GERD, gastroesophageal reflux disease, acid reflux. The clue here is that sensation of the burning sensation. GERD is a backflow of acid. The acid backflows from your stomach into your esophagus. If that backs up into your throat and even your larynx area, the sleeper may wake up coughing <laughs> or even feeling like they're choking. Most people with heartburn experience an increase in the severity of their symptoms when they lay flat. Because if you just think about it, gravity can help move food down through your digestive system. What should you do if you have insomnia? Become your own sleep detective. So the first thing to do is to track how um, and why you are losing sleep. And take note of your bedtime habits to see if they are contributing. Take all of that information to your doctor or sleep specialist so that they can design a plan that is just right for you to get the sleep that you need as an individual. That's really important. And people should remember, we neglect it often, but sleep is as important as breathing or eating or drinking. We really have to pay attention to it and take good care of ourselves with sleep. And of course, for more information, you can visit gethealthystayhealthy.com. And we'll have a link on our website at thedoctorstv.com to better sleeping habits. We'll be right back.